years ago when I was living in Chicago, I dated a psychiatrist for a while, and really nice guy, uh, but he was, you know, pretty well off, and he was giving me, you know, really nice gifts, and really nice gifts, and not really, he would send me roses to work, and, and I was working in a mail room, and, and I just, you know, it was weird, and, and not very kind for him, but weird for me. And he gave me this really expensive watch, again, really not my style, but a, but a nice gesture. And after things didn't work out, I, I hocked the watch. Now, while, not that long before that, I wrote John Wayne Casey a letter. So, uh, you know, just because I was interested in his art, quote unquote. And uh, I, w I wouldn't do that today, I don't think. I, I've changed a bit since then. But I did back then, and I got a nice response from Mr. Gacy, uh, a little note and a little catalog with all of the items that he has for sale. I guess there was some some litigation or some sort of uh, ordinance or law passed that serial killers couldn't uh, profit from their crimes. And, you know, Gacy killed 33 people and buried a lot of them in his basement. So, but his sister was handling all his business affairs, so there's probably a loophole in there. And she, she they sent me this catalog and all the different things. So with the hundred bucks I got from the hocked uh, watch that the shrink gave me, I bought this from... John Wayne Gacy, which is obviously a painting of the Seven Dwarfs, and, and it's signed on the back, and calls, he calls the painting Seven Little Friends. This was in my house for many years, and, um, and I decided last night, actually, I was looking at it, it's like, I, don't, I really don't want this in my house anymore. So I thought it was appropriate to bring it here to the dearly departed gallery and put it on display here so other people can see it. And since it'll be on display here, uh, just another reason to sage the hell out of this place. But, uh, um, so I'm going to put it in for the time being with Jane Mansfield's suitcase. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of supernatural vibe going on, I don't know. But I figured it's pink and it deserves to be in the pink booth for the time being until I can find a, a better home for it. So this is where Gacy's painting will live. Lock that shit up. And uh, and still, though, above my desk is the letter I got from him, the note I got from Gacy. And that's that. Thanks for tuning in.